maybe many of you think, what is this on top of the stage? What I want you to think about today is that we, we have to go back to the cradle. If I ask you, do you remember when you were in the cradle? Of course you would say, no, don't. But it was a wonderful time in our lives. We were full of energy. We were full of desire. Desire to do things, discover the world. Yet, we were in the crowd. And we would be looking to everybody behind those bars of the cradle. But we wanted to discover the world. We wanted to be like our parents at first. We left the cradle. In a matter of months, we were able to walk. We had no ego. Our ego was none. Therefore, we could take risks. We were able to walk in a matter of months. Something that took the human being years took us months. The ego was not there. We grew older and our ego grew with us. And what we thought at first as a challenge, as something great, when we were older, we looked at it as an obstacle, a terrible thing. The world is against me. I'm not a lucky, you know, because of my parents, because of my government, well, because of... But there is a beautiful, successful person in each one of us. Our heart is only desire, desiring one thing. Be successful in what we, every one of us, is to do in this world. None of us is a failure. None of us. Each one of us is a total success just in itself, in himself or herself. So let's go back to the crowd. Because we have to remember one thing. <laughs> we are living, many people say, we are living in an age of constant change. The only constant thing is change. Have you heard that? No! We are living a change of age, not an age of changes. And it takes about 30 years for a civilization to realize that we are living in a new world. That's why many of us are looking everywhere and saying, what is happening here? I don't understand anything. Everything used to work, and now it's not working. Let's take a look. According to a report from the University of Valencia, right now, young people under the age of 25, we find an unemployment rate of over 53%. I thought I was coming to a talk to be motivated. <laughs> salary of these people working is 42% lower than the average salary. Yet, by far, our young people today are much more educated than any time else in the history of, we would say, not only Spain, but the world. But the UNESCO is saying that there is an overinflation of high educated young people. They say, according to a report from the UNESCO, that in the next 30 years, 
we are going to have more university degrees graduating from school than in the whole history of mankind. Now, I don't know if you've studied a little bit of economy, but if you have overinflation of a, something, a good, the good price goes down. I thought I was coming to be motivated. Yes, because this is true, but is this true a total truth? Let's see some traditional paradigms because we have to let them go quickly. Let's see. In the industrial age, we had a, an incredible paradigm. Resources are scarce. We had the Malthus report, and we said, oh, things are going nuts. Uh, there is not going to be sufficient things for everybody. I learned that at school. Today, resources are unlimited. Because in the information age, what counts is the information. If you have information and you have things with it, Resources are unlimited. We heard at the beginning there are tons of talks, TED Talks, everywhere. Ideas worth spreading. That's great. We have tons of ideas. It is not that you are here today. It's what you are going to do after going out of this place today. What are we going to be doing? <laughs> I was told, Jose, go to school, get a job, and you are done for life. Hey, I have seven kids, you know. I would never say that to my kids today. It is good to go to school. Great. They'll go. God willing. But they have to do something else and go to school. Because what we know now is employment is no longer a lifelong career path. I mean, if you were thinking about getting a job and that's it, you are done, friend. You're totally done. Information is power. The man who has the information is the one who got the power. E.S. It is not. What we know is what we do with what we know, what counts. So instead of thinking safe, let's be safe. Get a job. Be a state employee, a government employee. Now, I invite you to think DBS. Different, big, and simple. Think DBS. Because I don't know if you understand this, but uh, it was uh, this time that I was going to a park. And I was this, uh, I had this manager, this actually very good entrepreneur saying, think as if we were on a river and uh, the engine goes off. We have no loss. We cannot move the boat as we want. And because we are so busy, we don't listen to the sound of the water. All of a sudden, we look in front, and all we see is, wow, there is a waterfall. You know what is happening. You know what is coming. You either jump from the boat. I don't know how to swim. Well, if you don't, if you don't jump from the boat, you know what's going to happen, right? You're dead. So that's why I want to invite you to know, to learn a new language. Are you willing to learn a, a new language? Hello? Yeah. Are you here? Yeah. You cannot imagine you see nothing because of the light. Are you here? Yeah. Somebody is here? Now count yourself. <laughs> this is very simple. I'm going to give you a, a line of numbers, and you have to tell me which goes next. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, right. Next one. One, two, one, two, one, two. 
great. I'll give you a hand of applause. I mean, you are great. This is amazing. I mean, come on, go ahead. I love doing this exercise, you know, because many people, when they listen to me doing this exercise, they say, gosh, I have a future. I mean, if this guy is doing this stupid thing in front of many people, I can do it too. That's why we love doing this exercise. Now, there comes another one, a little bit more difficult. One, two, three, one, two, three. What? Which one? Three, good, great. Now, this, I apologize because this is for people who have studied something technical, uh, money, uh, um, architecture, engineering, or whatever. I mean, if you have studied Latin or whatever, I apologize in advance, okay? It's a little bit more, it's tougher, okay? One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Seventeen. I mean, you are. I, mean, I was told the TED audiences all around the world were incredible. You are just confirming what I thought. 17. Now, this one is, uh, again, um, a little bit difficult. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 18, great. Give you a hand of applause. I mean, great. Now, I want you to be very honest, okay? You tell me, was it simple or not? Very simple, right? You don't have to go into IE University or whatever to, to do this, right? Right? Beautiful. It's great that you go. I do teach there, too. <laughs> the one that I'm going to show to you is as simple as the others, okay? Very simple. Very easy. Just a little bit different. O T T F F S S E. What goes now? E. Yeah, that's the reason why things go nuts many times. Because we apply a very interesting logic. Many would say it goes whatever. I mean, this guy knows how to talk, so he, he will tell, tell us anything and uh, we'll have to agree. It's only one that goes now. And it's as simple as all the others, but it's different. Different. Think different. Big and simple. It's the N. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is the first letter of each number written down. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, the future is as simple as this, but it's different. We have to be able to talk this new language. We have to be able to think different, because if we don't think different, we are not going to be able to achieve many good things that are there ahead. PBS, different. If we go on the same path everybody's going, where are we going to go? Same way. Now, if you ask people, do you like how people, normal people, average people work, live? They will say no. So why are you taking the same path? You e Big. How, how a kid... How a kid thinks. Simple. Very simple. I'm going to show you, introduce you to my most important major professors, masters, and the ones that I've learned most about crisis, coping with crisis, getting the best out of any crisis, and change. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my seven kids. Now, there, thank you. There, I'll tell them that you applaud. Um, they are now much bigger than they are there, but I, I took this picture because you cannot imagine how much you learn from them when they are this age. They have no fears. 
They want everything and anything and they want it now. Just like you and me. But we put very limited objectives in our lives. We, not, we stop thinking about big. They think big. Many people say to me, how is it that you have such a, an incredible energy, so passionate? Well, spend a while with them. You'll see. Actually, this one here, she is, I mean, she, she said she's got a, several doctorates in change and good attitude. But we all come extremely suited for success. Since we don't have time, I'm going to go very, very fast. This is based on beautiful investigations that they, we've done, people have done, with kids. We have an incredible amount of curiosity on learning capacity. What is yours now? We have few fears. Actually, only loud sounds and sudden falls. So if you throw a baby, a kid, this way, you know, and you're looking at him and he's smiling, he's not smiling because he's having a good time. He's smiling saying, get me out of here soon, you. I call this bulletproof determination. I mean, when a kid wants something, I, I was going to ask, who of you have kids? But I don't see anything, so it's stupid to ask this question. But if you have kids or you have seen kids, you know that they will go anywhere and do anything to get what they want. I always say to my kids, every morning when I get them to the school, I say to them, what are you going to achieve in life? And they say, everything and anything we set our goals if it's, got, it's, if it's good for us, good for the people around us, doesn't make any harm except, you know, envy and on those things. With God's help, we'll achieve it. No pitting. Now, the last one is the one that makes me feel sad many times. And that is that we have total confidence in others. We are born with an Incredible sense of trust. Trust each other. We love each other. We talk a lot about making love. It's funny that um, there was this uh, the, the son of one of my brothers. He said to my brother, Dad, uh, since we are three and Uncle Jose and Aunt Maria Jose have seven, that means that you have made love less times than him. Simple reasoning of a kid. Love is not to be made. Love is to be given and felt. Let's talk about giving love. Let's talk about seeing in each other, not a friend, or a brother and a sister. Because we have a huge potential within us. This is you and I, my friend. But we are so powerful. <laughs> it's amazing. Don't say to any kid, you cannot do it. He'll do it. He likes it. That's why I want to remind you of one thing. It's funny how we were made. You know why we were made small? Because when you are small, the only way you can look is up. And when you look up, you can dream big. You're always remembering that you are born to succeed. You are born to, as we heard before, you are born to give your world, a new story. Your story. It is not up to one or two, three guys. Any one of you can be here. We are no different. Absolutely no different at all.
the world is for us. They say we are living in the information age. No, I've heard something much better. It's not mine. We are living in a democratic age. The one in which any person with a big dream that is thinking different, big and simple, can make the world a much better place. You and I have a challenge. Be one of those who make it a much better place. It's been an honor to be here. You have a friend of me. Thank you very much.